we can continue from the last verse. Verse number 77 from Vilapa Kusumanji. Will the joy of my eyes increase when I see one maiden swiftly and happily bringing various blooming flowers, big gunja bees? and peacock feathers. While Hari makes the braid of my Swamini with this, he shivers and her whole body blooms up with goose pimples. Will the joy of my eyes increase when I see one maiden swiftly and happily bringing various blooming flowers, big gunja beads and peacock feathers? While Hari makes the braid of my Swamini with this, he shivers and her whole body blooms up with goose pimples. Continue from commentary on the next page. Swamini is not satisfied in their pastimes and she thinks Mohana does not smile enough. His smile is not fully blooming. So she causes a smile to blossom on his face by kissing him again and again. Now she can relish the nectar of his mouth that makes his flute song so sweet and that reveal such wonderful jokes. Swamini's desires cannot be satisfied anymore. Hari has taken away all her hesitation. The Acharyas say that a higher level of prema is pranaya. In that stage, the loving couple is no longer aware that they are separate beings. The very life force of this pranaya is Vishrambha. Shiva Jiva Goswami writes, Vishrambha means that the lover feels him or herself to be non-different from the beloved.
Shri Vishnavat Chakravarti explains this further. Vishramba means faith or freedom from awe and reverence so that one considers the life, mind, intelligence and dress of the beloved to be one with one's own. It is the stage of intimacy in which one feels no hesitation when the hand of the beloved goes over one's body. It is the same feeling of trust and intimacy as if one would move one's own hand over one's body. In the same way, prana i nirada In the same way, prana i nirada considers each of Mohana's limbs that she touches to be her own. This Mohana is the cause of all this. Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Maybe we can stop here. Because in this paragraph, Ananta Das Babaji is explaining a few very sweet points which deserve to be repeated and also to be meditated on. So we can see from the beginning of this paragraph that Swamini is never satisfied in her attempts to satisfy Mohan. Even if she is the only one who can satisfy him the more, the nature of her love is like this, that she is never satisfied. She always is trying to find the ways how she can fulfill all his desires, even desires which is not Krishna is aware that he has in his heart. So this is the nature of pure love. This is completely opposite of materialistic karma between two lovers. And our acharyas are often are saying this is the difference like uh, iron and gold. And in material love, when the lovers satisfy their sense urges, then they are peaceful. They can even go in different directions and live their own lives as they like. Because they are satisfied their own desires, own karma. But Radhika is teaching us that when pure love appears in the heart, 
devotee also is never satisfied. And this is the checking point of every sadaka. Am I satisfied with my bhajan? Am I satisfied with my attachments for Radhika, for Acharyas? Am I satisfied? And it's written that if Sadaka is satisfied, then something is wrong. <laughs> because the nature of transcendental love, pure love, is completely opposite. That no one who is drowning in this ocean of pure love is never satisfied, never peaceful. And we can see that words after words, anxiety of Raghunath is more intense and more intense because this is the sign of his deep, intense, pure love <clears throat> and this is the sign of his unsatisfaction because he wants to be more and more engaged in direct service to Swamini. So, but by the association of those persons who are never satisfied with their service because of their deep love, we beginners can learn how to love, how to serve out of love, and we have to be prepared that we will not be satisfied if we are practicing in a proper way. So Radhika here is manifesting this unsatisfaction and he just, she just wants to give Mohan more satisfaction. And she is kissing him. And why she is kissing him? Because she doesn't have any feelings of awe, reverence, and hesitation. Should I do this? May I do this? Is it okay to do this? No. She is completely secure in her loving feelings. He is mine, first of all, and I am his. This principle, you are mine and I am yours, actually nullifying all things, all feelings, which can be obstacle in loving relationship, full of this vishramba, intimacy. Ananta Das Babaji is mentioning now intimacy. And this intimacy is so important in spontaneous love, in spontaneous service, in spontaneous exchange of love. This is the crucial point of relationship, intimacy. Because the more intimacy is, the love can spread to full intensity without any obstacles. So this intimacy actually 
I remember Gurudev once time, or maybe last Saturday even, he mentioned that this intimacy means to merge in vibration of beloved, if I correctly remember. To feel this vibration of beloved fully, without obstacles, without blockage. <clears throat> then the current of love can stream between two hearts, lover and beloved. And one effect is coming that these hearts are starting to melt simultaneously because of Vishramba intimacy. So, Baba is mentioning here Vishwan Chakra Thakur in the commentary who is saying that Vishramba means freedom of, from awe and reverence. So that one considers the life, mind, intelligence, and even dress of beloved to be one with one's own. We can see that this effect is possible only in the pure stage of love. In materialistic love, materialistic relationship, boy and girl, husband and wife, they can be in love with each other. But they always say, this is my clothes, and this is your clothes. This is my ornaments, and this is your ornaments. This is my nature, and this is your nature. This is my feelings, and these are your feelings. So we have to manage our feelings to be <laughs> in proper balance so that we can live together. We have to manage it. And it's not easy always to manage it. But here we can see what does it mean pure oneness or pranaya between lover and beloved. Because both of them are drowning in the ocean of Maha Bhav. Radhika is personification of Maha Bhava, and Krishna likes to merge in this ocean of Radhika's most exalted love and feelings towards him. And result of this mutual love between them, mutual love, not from one side or from another side, no, mutual, together. The result is that they sometimes in the climax of their loving exchange, especially in Nivriti Nikunja, alone place, when they are alone, sometimes out of intensity of this love, Radhika thinks that she is a Krishna, and Krishna thinks, I am Radhika. So, this subject is very elevated subject. 
maybe we can say most elevated. When they exchange the roles, and only by mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we, Kali Yuga people, Kali Yuga Jivas, can listen to this. In previous ages, no one could listen because it was not, this subject was not revealed. But now I am, I, Jiva, Buddha, conditioned soul, can read, listen this, even try to speak about this, and how it's possible. Only by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, or we can say Goda Bhakta Vrinda, guided by Rupa Goswami or Rupa Nuga devotees. So this intimacy actually is the key point. And as I, re for relationship, spiritual relationship, especially in Vraja, and especially if devotee is hankering in the heart to become maid servant of Radhika, and in that way serve also her lover. This intimacy, loyalty and trust is coming from pure love. And it's, again, I will read, when the lovers are thinking that their life, minds, intelligence, even dress, actually there is no difference between them. Why is like this? We said intimacy, but there is behind more reason. If we know that Radhika is Mahabhava, everything what comes in the touch with Mahabhava becomes Mahabhava. So, when Krishna comes in the touch with Radhika, he is becoming Mahabhava. His mind is becoming Mahabhava. His intelligence is becoming Mahabhava. His dress is becoming Mahabhava. Because this is the potency of pure love which emanates from Radhika's heart. That everything what comes in the contact with her love automatically becomes pure love. Becomes pure love. And this is the mystery, which is very difficult, almost impossible to understand from bodily consciousness of life. Only through the Siddha Deha, which is Bhava Deha, Bhava Deha, made from Bhava, made from these emotions. And without this kind of spiritual consciousness, it's not possible to properly understand, properly feel, and especially goes in the hidden, hidden levels of these beautiful pastimes. We need Swarup. We need spiritual identity. Because this spiritual identity is, will be, or it is, drowned in the ocean of Mahabhava.
गौरंग गायत्री मूर्ति श्री गौरंगाए विद्म है विषम भरा है वट वट इज इट विषम भरा वेन यू टेक द सेल्टर इन दिस मोड देन यू बिकम विशंभर इन वर्सल वेर यू विल सी जित देखो तित शांत में वेर माई आईज इज गोइंग आई सी माई डिवाइन सामनी विषम भरा है थी वट गौर प्रचोदया गौर मीन्स गौ इज कृष्णा रा इज राधा ऑनली राधा मोहन That is Vishambara, and Vish that is Vishambara means my one-pointed fixation shelter. Now you explain this more details. That little about this. You gave us Guru Dev such a beautiful light on this Gora Gaya tree. Yes, and made such a beautiful connection. What does it mean, actually? Also, Vishramba, deeper meaning. That is the and how, yeah, and that without the mercy of <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and making connections with him also, it is impossible to enter deeply in Radha Krishna mood. Yeah. So we need desperately Gora Kripa, knowing who is Goranga, meditating deeply in Goranga, praying Prachodayat, please fulfill my desire. I want to meditate on you. With Mahe, Dimahe, I want to serve you, to be close with you. and in that way maybe one day your servant will be merciful to me and give me just little drops of vrindavan just little drops of manjar bhav but gurudev this vishramba intimacy I remember Narayan Maharaj actually on Japanese sangha maybe few ma few months or few weeks ago. Narayan Maharaj said that the beginning of this Vishramba is Vishramba intimacy with Guru. Vishramba, Vishramba means Vishramba means totally surrender there. Yes. To Mahabhava. madanaka mahava i say you guru is the way yes guru is, is never the beginning go. why because he bring to he is a dasi why he is a dasi because he bring to his swamini and if he not bring to swamini he hold and keep with himself that then is a little question ar this is proper <laughs> yes like you said guru is not a goal but through the nice relationship with him instructions which he is giving will penetrate in the hearts of disciple 
of shishya without all reverence and these blockages. That says sarnagati. What does it mean sarnagati? To leave your false ego is sarnagati. Yes. If I living in my false ego, I am not in sarnagati. The moment I leave out my false ego to your lotus feet, that is Sharnagati. Telling and doing is a different. Sharnagati means I no keep any false ego. So I come to you, Gurudev, now you open my eyes and navigate me. Sarnaga, I, I surrender, but I am not Sarnagati to Gurudev. Sarnagati is a different thing. I put out my false ego to you. I will not control my false ego. I surrender this my false ego in your lotus feet. That is Sarnagati. I keep my false ego with me and I am following you impossible. If the ego I am keeping, not following. Manjari, what is Manjari Bhav? Bhava Advesha. Bhav Avesh means Bhav will come, come when there is no false ego. False ego hold us in my bodily consciousness. Bhav Deha is my Sarup. So now the question arises, Gurudev, how to be free from this strong attendant? Sarnagati means that to tell that false ego, what we are holding and dancing with that, that I want to give you. Gurudev, this is Sarnagati. That false ego, Dasi cannot keep, then I am not Dasi. And that is the opening of door. He opened by the Dasi, opened this door by taking the false ego of Guru. Gurudev, take the false ego from us. You see, when ocean poison come, who drink the poison? Shiva. This is Guru Tattva. This is the poison. Guru has to drink it. So it and means Guru Dev, it, huh? So it means that first poison has to come out before poison. nectar. Yes. Poison is there, nectar not coming. And my poison is my fault. At the Narayan Maharaj say, at the time of initiation it happens. And when there is no Sukriti, it takes time for that. If no Sukriti, 
I not want to take out, vomit my false ego. Is my no sukriti. Vomit. We have to vomit it out. Kalia. Kalia. <laughs> many, that is the poisonous snake. Many heads and each head many faces. Yeah. Unlimited. My so God. my God. So this is helpless position in one sense. After that we don't want to take it out. So Krishna is not dancing on the head of false Kaliya. When the Krishna is dancing, my mind is fixed there. That poison is not there. Then Krishna danced there. That any left poison is there, it will go out. Poison. Without poison is there in my head. So Krishna is not dancing, Krishna is not mind coming, some material thing coming in my mind. Previous life, heavy aparat, it's happening like this. So Guruda, does it mean that we have, we have to recognize our own false ego and voluntary have a desire, but not ordinary desire, strong desire to be relieved and to offer that this ego. Sir. Please help me. That is a Okay. That is a So it requires our own sincerity. That is a and you see the mercy of Gurudev, how he drank this oh, from so many people. I think that this is the problem, because we don't see it. We don't have eyes to see that Guru is swallowing this poison. We don't have a heart to feel it. Mercy of Das. This is Radha Das. Then she prepared us to go to Swami. Why he is away? Not gold, because he is only waiting for the thinking poison to make fresh to us to send to Swami to service. Thank you. Yes, Gurudev. This is our homework. Why I say this is always way, way, way? Because this is the way. If I have a po poison, I cannot go, and poison will out from him. Only Guru can remove this, not Jiva. Buddha. Never. Eight Buddhas are there. When Buddha is coming, we become uncontrolled. One ghost catch, people cannot balance. And eight Buddhas are there. With us. 
Sometimes. So we shambha, we shambha, and we shambharai. When we took the shelter and live in this consciousness, in Sharnagati of Mahabhav, what you are explaining? Then I see whole universe everywhere. Only to you, nothing I can see. Well, who give this vision? My Gurudev, because he drink my poison, because I give it. I cannot give my poison to you because I am so miser to anything to give. <laughs> Even I not want to give my poison. What sarnagati is this? <laughs> Even the poison I don't want to give. I don't want to give my false. Uh, Narayan Maharaj said they keep the one. I tell that he's my guru, but only to see I do, not to relate with. This is not something, no relation. So we need Vishramba Gurudev. So to voluntarily offer our false yeah. our poison because this without way. this is the way that they will come this will come my way will open oh i'm so unfortunate Gurudev. i'm sorry i don't have sukritis this is the way this is the way there is no other way this is the way, right or not? Rati so, Yeah. So you, you are waiting also that disciple will open their hearts so that the Dibya Gyan can come because if there's too much poison, how can the Dibya Gyan also enter? This is the way. Dasi can only can clean it, na? wash it, and then give useful thing in the front of Swami to use it, right? How he can bring the dirty thing to use to Swami? <laughs> and who can do this? Only the Radha Dasi can clean it. Right. But sometimes Guru Devi says it's too harsh. It's too painful. I cannot tolerate this. Who is I'm afraid. I'm afraid of this pain. Who? I don't want. Sometimes we. I, beginner, I am afraid of this pain. Giver is difficult or receiver is difficult. <laughs> Giver don't want to give because of my dullness. He don't know that he's a blocking my life. Uh, my life is not growing because of this blockage. I know realize it. Yes. And Gurudev is waiting for the moment when he will give this.
So it means that we are misers to our Mind. own jiva. I do so not to open myself. Yeah. So he say, Guru Dakshana, mm. are a gift to me. I, the Guru Dakshana, Guru Dakshana, I learn to give, learn to give, learn to give. What is meaning of giving? Are I give what is the problem creating to you? Give that. Who is the way? Guru only can help. Because she can clean my pot. I cannot ready to clean my dirty pot. And I don't know. I clean and I make dirty every day. Myself. It's not a, so easy. Only Nithai can do. When Nithai Shakti comes, we can help, we can do it. If not, then one poison drinking is too heavy, you know. His name will become Nilakantha because he cannot put inside because in heart Krishna is there and he cannot throw it out. So he put in Nilak Shiva in the neck. All is meaningful. Gurudev, you mentioned Gora mantra, Gora Diksha, but now we are coming slowly to Advaita, Acharya. And many times you gave explanations that we have to pray when we are chanting Advaita mantra. Well, you, you see, Advaita. He is praying and Srivas is praying. These two are Guru Tattva. Pray a prayer. They are Dachis. Although Advaita is very old, oldest, and uh, Srivas. Older but than Mekhaprabhu. Yeah. They are praying. To three tattva, Gaur tattva, Nityananda, Anangmaji, and Gajadha, Prem Rupai, Prem Rupai, Radhika, Radhika Rupai, not Prem Rupai. Radhika Rupai. Prem is in Radhika Rupai. And Guru is also Prema Rupai. So this is the only way how someone who is Prema Rupai can swallow this poison, purify the heart and offer to Radhika. Yeah. It must be Prema Rupaya. That is for me. Or Radha Dasi. <laughs> How he can keep it? If he is a Dasi, he cannot hold it. Then he is no Dasi. This is simple Guru Tattva. Huh? Huh? Ah. Prem is Radha Rupaya. Hmm. Simple. Prem and Radha is not two sattva. Prem is Radha Rupa. Gajadha Sakti is Radha Rupa. Uh, 
and now here it comes. What is the word? Vishambara. Vishrambya. Yes. Means resting place. What is resting place? Madhanak Mahabhav, my Swami. And where she is? Vishambara. In whole universe. If I got this resting place, I see only this. Because I have no resting place, I see many, many subjects. When the moment will come, I will be, resting place will be Swami's lotus feet. I will see only my Swami, that's it. Stay bath, That is it. That bhav has to be a thai. My God, Asundar say all this. A thai. Fixed. Then what I will see? What I am fixed? Other thing I can see or not? Nothing we can see. Only one point. Where I see, I see you. That is a thai bhav. This is Gaurav Sundara, when the bhav becomes a sthai. Maybe Gurudev, I do not understand everything what the tattva is meaning. But you don't need to understand. <laughs> only, only what you understand, that is the best. <laughs> Too much but what I understand in the, this in this way is that we, on one point, we have to sign the contract. It is <clears throat> then it's then it's done. Then all this what we speak about in the Gaia Three and all this person who are behind this, they will come and help us. They will guide us, and uh, they will bring us to the point we are looking for. But we have to uh, uh, sign that we are give up false ego and we have to become servant as mantra mood. On that point, we, we give up and we 100% we like to be a servant in the servant mood and see the service as our highest goal. There yeah. is nothing higher than the service. Then yeah. my feeling is Radhe Radhe. This is the point. Uh, now Jananda Maharaj. Sorry. Yes. Very beautiful Gora Goraga Sundara and Gora Sundara and Guru Dev. I think assign means we give up whole sake. <laughs> and if some problem come, we can we can get we can Guru Dev can digest. We may not digest, but Guru Dev can digest. Or even Gurudev may not digest, but uh, Radharani could digest. So, if we surrender, especially Gora, <laughs> Gora Sundara, if we, if we are one point, if, if we surrender Manjari Baba, one point, then nothing to worry. Everything, everything provided, we are protected. And Gurudev, this pranaya is very interesting, Gurudev. We are saying, I'm yours. I'm yours means 
、えー、yours, say, ちゃんとばい、say, I'm yours. means, Krishna is higher. Chandra Bar is little lower, lower. This is I'm yours. This Pranaya is completely same. And then from, from Pranaya, slowly, slowly, your mind is starting. Your mind is Radha is thinking, you are mine. Radha said to Krishna, you are mine. This, this sentence says, Madhyata. Madhyata. Actually, this is Radha Ran is more higher than Krishna. Because yeah. of Radha Ran has Mahababa. So Mahababa can can provide, Mahabad can do anything. Her love is conquer Krishna. This mentioned Anandas Babaji. So this is very interesting. If we think Prema stage, uh, Sneha and Mana and Pranaya. So Prana is like a same. Krishna's body, Krishna's, uh, Radha's body, same. Feeling also same. Sometimes exchange. But then, Raga, Anuraga, and Baba, Mahababa. This Mahababa completely conquered Krishna because Raba is so great. In that sense, Radha is thinking, oh, Krishna's mind. Krishna is higher than Krishna. Love is higher than God. So a few days ago, I think Guru Devo or somebody is reading Maharasa. So Chandra Bari's group was dancing Maharasa. But they are a little bit afraid. Maybe Chandra Bhatti Gurev step on the feet of Krishna. But Radhika's group, they don't care. <laughs> because Radhika's love is more higher than Krishna. And Radhika's thinking, Madhyata, you are mine. And your body and my body is no different. So Radhika or Radhika's group, they can step on the feet of Krishna, but they don't care. <laughs> this is very uh, interesting. This prana, prana is like, a, I was thinking, prana is like a middle stage. But uh, if more higher than level, Raga Anuraga and Mahababa, that is Especially Madanakya Mahababa, Guru Dev was saying, this is completely conquer Krishna, Mohan. Krishna, Krishna completely mad after Radhika. Yeah. And Krishna pay obeisance, Krishna want to serve Radhika. Even Krishna want to put Radhika's lotus feet on his head, on his breast. This is <laughs> interesting, Guru Dev. Rade, rade. By touch of Mahabhava, Krishna also come in Mahabhava. <laughs> yeah. And also, Guru Dev, yesterday, no, I was reading, uh, yesterday you mentioned to, uh, no, day before yesterday. So why we should meet Sadhu? Then Gurudev is saying, 
。I was saying, クリッパカタクシャ。だってグルデーブ saying, バイブレーション。そう。And then, I was reading some, some, I think I was reading c h a i t a n c h a r i t a m i t a Then, everybody knows bus. サドゥさんが、サドゥさんが、サルバ、シャストラ、ホエ。ラバンマトレ、サドゥさんが、サルバ、シッティ、ホエ。So this is one moment association. サドゥ could give this vibe or クリッパカタクシャ into the, into the heart of ジーバー or candidate. This is good business. <laughs> good David's business. <laughs> so just yesterday was saying, uh, the good David was saying, oh, vibration can, can completely change. Our mood is completely changing by the association of Sadhu. Oh, actually, this is even one moment association. Sometimes it happens. But we, Oh, but、uh, for us, we need <laughs> more association. And vibration means、uh, by looking, by drinking some sweet of him, or what, which way vibration will come is not fixed. But、uh, we have to answer for this. That to receive that vibration, and when the mercy, through mercy, something I will receive, that will be vibration. What, what great sweet time he will give, he d o n t know.、Uh, I, I am a receiver, I d o n t know. This day, moment will happen.、Mm. What s u c h a he also d o n t know. When she will give and to him, and when I'm ready to receive that moment, that's the point. This is causeless, the good day. Causeless. We don't know why. We don't know because he's not giving. What is flowing, he gives that moment. Mm. He also not prepared for that. Yeah, I think. And also, Gurudev, I want to share one, one thing. Yes. I was, I was checking some. So I was、uh, giving lecture about Chaitanya Charitamrita to. Some of the students, and then some, some person g i v e me a report. And I was reading, I found out one bus. Brahmanda, Brahmite, Kona Bagya Banjiba, Guru Krishna Prasade Pai, Bhakti Rata Beach. So now more. Uh, my understanding is more clear, g u r u d e v This Bhakti Rata Beach actually Swarupa and one pointness.、Yeah. And then, if we put water, if we hear about Radha Mohan's pastime, hearing, chanting, remembering of Radha Mohan's pastime, Especially this is Birapax Manjari, etc. Then sprout is coming.、Yeah. This, sprout, this sprout, sprout is like a spiritual body. Yeah. From beginning, it's very, very, very not, not clear, maybe. Because if some, if, if Torashi plant sprout, Sometimes we don't understand this is Torasi or not Torasi.、Mm. But if we put water, maybe fertilizer, 
and sunshine, and then more surprise is coming. Yeah. Then more our swarupa is coming, means our baba is more coming. Yeah. Then finally, this swarupa grown up, grown up, feeling our feeling grown up, grown up. Then finally, we attain Lotus Seat of Sri Radha. <laughs> One of the one of the names of Radhika is Bhakti Lata. Yeah. 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 And she is putting Bij, the seed. Yeah, yeah Raj. In the form yeah. of Swarup, like Jayanandaji said. That we by her mercy and her dasi attain this Bhakti Lata, wine yeah. of devotion, to be her shadow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, thank you, Jayanandaji. <laughs> Maybe we can continue with reading if someone. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Varanga Sundar touch my heart today. Yeah. That uh, Mahabhav, Krishna touch Mahabhav and it, Krishna become Mahabhav. It's so tasteful to me, I cannot stop myself. Wow. Wow. I simply it's, don't know Gurudev. First yeah, time, yeah. first time I said this. And wow. first time I was thinking, it's your mercy, really, your this flow. Is, this is the fact, my dear. This is happening to our life. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I will listen, all of you, please. Yeah. So we can continue reading. <clears throat> Swamini's curly braid resembles a big dark cloud. And Mohana sits behind her, slowly arranging that hair. Each hair is dearer to him than millions of lives. He pours his whole life airs into them. There is no limit to his ecstasy when he obtains the service of his beloved and his shivering hands are studded with goose pimples while he braids her hair. Swamini's body is also studded with goose pimples while he braids her hair. When Mohana touches her, Mohana 
looks at Priyaji's face from behind, over her shoulders, afraid that she may feel pain. But Swamini consoles him with a blossoming smile, saying, Why are you so worried? It didn't hurt. When Nagara Raja hears that, he smiles. After Mohana has made Radhika's braid, one Saki comes with peacock feathers, slightly blooming flowers, and gunja beads shining red beads with black spots on them, which Mohana uses to make Swamini's crown. Also, in Srimad Bhagavat, there is a description of this Prema Vilasa Vivarta. Sri Shukamuni said, Krishna made a crown for himself, same like for himself, for his beloved, Sri Radhika. Sorry that I interrupt you, but this is also one paragraph which is explaining the result of pranaya. And this is prema vila savivarta. This is the result of such kind of closeness when Krishna and Radhika exchange the roles. And she thinks that he is, she is Krishna, and Krishna is thinking, I am Radhika. So this prema vilasa vivarta, vivarta means like confusion. Which kind of confusion? sweet, loving confusion because of intensity of love and because of this feeling of intimacy. This is the result of strong pranaya. And Radha and Krishna are come drowning because of this pranaya in the ocean of Prema Vilasa Vivarta. So, this drowning in this Prema Vilasa Vivarta is actually something which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed to us in all our Rupanuga Acharyas and how to serve their yugala vivarta confusion how to serve only by becoming radha dasis <laughs> wow wow so this prema vilasa vivarta actually is the climax of all lilas which are going on in nivriti nikunj. Not in kunj, not in nikunj, but is nivriti nikunj. Because in nivriti nikunj, intimate place, Radha and Krishna can allow themselves to relish this prema vilasa vivarta. And 
Manjaris are witnessing this. So this wow. is the greatest gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for the Jiva Bhutas of Kali Yuga to listen, to speak, to meditate, to share between each other about this most exalted, beautiful position of Manjari who is witnessing Prema Vilasa Vivarta of Radha and Krishna. And if you allow me, I would like to say something I saw somewhere in the text. Yes, that Krishna is making, first he is making Radhika's braid. And it's written, Krishna is making Radhika's braid. And yes, he is doing this. But in the mood of Prema Vilasa Vivarta, he is thinking, I am Radhika and I am making the bread to Krishna. I hope that you can catch the point. <laughs> you understand? And uh, just just to see, uh, yes, and it said Krishna made the crown for his beloved. Actually, Radhika doesn't wear the peacock feather crown on her head. <laughs> but Krishna, by thinking, I'm Radhika, he is making the mood of Radharani. He is making the braid and putting the crown of flowers and peacock feathers. And he doesn't know and she doesn't know that they exchange the roles. Only Manjari is witnessing this. How they are witnessing, how they are sure about their realization, because they are firstly completely feeling, they are feeling Radhika's feeling, and they, because of that, they exactly know what is in the heart of Krishna. This is inner sign. But outer side is that they see, oh, they change the clothes. And this changing the clothes that Krishna is wearing blue sari and <laughs> Radhika is wearing yellow dhoti is the sign of their prema vilasa vivarta. It's very deep subject. And so many hidden levels are in this pastime because we can, we can see here that in one sense, Krishna and Radhika is revealing their mood, but in another sense, they are hiding their mood. And only those who are emotionally connected with Radharani through Manjari Bhava can understand what they are revealing and what they are hiding. And this is Paraki Bhava. So, By listening, by entering this, each word of Mahavani of Acharyas, step by step, slowly but surely, we can go deep in this ocean of lilas, but not with this bodily, egoistic,
concept of life. And this vivartas, these confusions are coming spontaneously. I remember Prabhupada is somewhere is reading, uh, is writing that these emotions are coming spontaneously, not on the conscious level between Radha and Krishna. No, no. And sometimes, and sometimes we can see that Radhika takes the Krishna's flute and playing and calling the gopis. But is but this is not Prema Vilasa Vivarta because she is doing it with the mood of joke, with the fun. Give me your flute. You will see how I can also call them. And uh, from outside of point, they change the role. But this is not Prema Vilasa Vivarta. Prema Vilasa Vivarta is manifesting in the time of union and separation in the same time. When they are together, they feel separate. And when they are separate, they feel together. And this vivarta, this is example of one vivarta. But there is a, when they are together, you can see they are together and they are confused. In Milana, they are confused. And they exchange the role. Yeah. But there is a moment when Radhika is suffering from separation of Krishna. And she is coming in the situation that she is completely confused. And she is embracing spontaneously Tamal, black Tamal tree out of vivarta, out of prema. Because of her loving confusion. And this is the example I have in the moment of physical separation. And this confusion is also example in the moment in Milana when they are together and they cha exchange the role and how we can understand it very difficult Vishuddha Sattva has to penetrate completely in our heart if some partial of Vishuddha Sattva penetrate in our heart, yes. we can already receive so many things. Otherwise, we will be not able to relish. This is the help of Hladini Shakti. This is the help of Radhika or Vishuddha Sattva. And like Guru Devi say, the more the condense, 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 these feelings are deeper and deeper. We will go inside. And many hidden details will be revealed. Especially this beautiful Prema Vilasa Vivarta, which Ramananda Roy in two verses, Chaitanya Charima Tamrita spoke to Chaitanya Ch Mahaprabhu and he said, stop, 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 don't speak anymore and put his head over his mouth. But by the mercy of Krishna Das Kaviraj, Raghunadas, who told him all, all about this, 
we sadakas, neophytes, now we can relish it. And maybe this can help us to make complete Sharanagati. Because we will define our goal, we will see how sweet the goal is, desirable, and that anything else is actually, there is no taste in that. That did it. Wow. No, it's a question of beauty. So maybe I'm wrong, but I I feel this this way also. Uh, Lada, usually manjari decorate Lada, and uh, upasana means. Uh, Worship. Worship means sit near. And uh, some usually manjari decorate radika. Or sometimes radika decorate Krishna. This is this is worship. This is seva. But uh, Gora Gorang Sundara Pabu say. So Radhara ni touched Mohan. Then Mohan is, is in Mahababa. So Mohan was illusioned, little bit mad. Then also he want to he want to decorate Radha means he want to be like Manjari. So, because the seba is so tasteful, usually Mohan is, uh, is uh, always, what do you say, worshipped. Uh, I forgot the word, the Vishaya and uh, what is it? Ashtaya. Huh? Vishaya and uh, forgot. Ashtaya. Ashraya. So this become changing. So Krishna want to taste the seva of Radhika. Because of he become like Mahababa. Also, this I remember like Mahaprabhu want to taste Radha's feeling. How Mahab how Radharan is tasting serving Mohan. So this I may think. This Mohan want to taste what kind of uh, taste feeling Mahababa Radharani has, or what kind of feeling Manjari has for se for serving Radha, especially. Decorating. This is Shuringara. This Shuringara rasa is so tasteful. So, Gorang Sundra Pub's explanation, this Prema Bibarit is so wonderful. Also, I was also thinking, oh, this is Mohan want to taste. Eh. Serving Radha's taste. One sense, it may be wrong, but uh, you know, serving how Manjari was tasting this 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 Baba. So Krishna become mad. So therefore, Krishna's hand is 
something trembling cannot do. And this also, Radharani's hair is black. Might be represent Krishna. And also, want to put the peacock. This is very much in interesting. So anyway, so this pastime, Prema Virasa Bibarta, also may Krishna want to taste this serving Radhika, or maybe some taste of Manjari Baba, serving Radha is how tasteful. This I, I, I felt. <laughs> yes, there is no contradictions, Jayanandaji. It's different levels of Lila and also different situations in different Lilas. So, it's perfectly all right. Uh, when, when Manjaris are looking this scene, how Krishna is trying, <laughs> trying to comb the hair of Radhika, Baba is saying curly braid, curly. It's not straight hair, it's curly. Why it's curly? Because the way of Prem is very crooked. <laughs> so many different emotions are coming from Radhika's heart in the form of black, like you said, curly hair. And it's not easy for Krishna to conquer this curly hair, full of Madanakya Mahabhav. So he needs help also. <laughs> and so on, and so on, and so on. And this effect of curly hair confused him. And he becomes covered by confusion or vivarta. Many, 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 many meanings. And maybe you you remember Suniti also or other devotees, I cannot see everyone. Because this Bhagavatam is actually very interesting words. And it said Tani Chudayata Kantam. Tani Chudayata Kantam. Chudayata, one of the meanings of Chudayata is a top knot on the head, which you usually is making for the boys. <laughs> and Krishna is making this top knot, Chudayata, on Radhika's head because he is in the mood of Radhika. And making the top knot Chudayat on the head of Radhika, thinking that she is he. <laughs> and this is hidden in Srimad Bhagavatam, it's hidden. Shukade Goswami, yeah, Shukade Goswami, said this Prema Vilasa Vivarta, but in some other hidden way. So everything we have to look, listen and meditate from position of our own position. Because only Manjaris saw this exchange of roles because they have been present there. Gopis 
they didn't see that in that way, as I understand. So to go deep in the inside of Lila, like Guru Dev said, we need Sharanagati to obtain the mercy, at least little mercy, so that we can go dive more and more and more and more in our bhajan. And maybe one day we will attain our desirable position. Stable, fixed, eternal, bus, <laughs> no more change, no more ping pong. Will you continue to, to read or I don't Seeing Krishna's expertise in decorating Radhika, Tulasi is beside herself of ecstasy. It is as if ecstasy himself appears before her eyes instead of in her mind. It is as if this ecstasy is not enjoyed within the mind, but within the eyes. The practicing devotee who is fixed in smarana must dive into this rasa also. The yearning for Radharani's devotional service does not arise within an ordinary heart. It will arise within the heart of someone who can give up everything in the world and who is not dependent on anything. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells Arjuna, Bhakti man me. A person who is devoted is dear to me. But to attain Radhika's service is even harder. Without total absorption, it cannot be attained. The Acharyas have revealed how one can become dear to Radharani. Sri Das Goswami exclaims, Tavaivasmi, Tavaivasmi, Na Jiva Mi Tvayavina. I am yours, I am yours. I cannot live without you. We must experience some of this absorption also. We must expel the influence of Maya from the mind. The great words. Mahavani of the Acharyas 
will strengthen the weak devotees and will gradually bring them back on the path. Tulasi is absorbed in bliss when she sees Swamini's hair being done. Suddenly, the vision vanishes and Srila Raghunathasa prays. Some Saki with blossoming heart and her body overwhelmed with goose pimples of ecstatic love places half-blooming flowers fresh gunja garlands and enchanting peacock feathers into Mohana's hands without delay. And Rajendra Nandana carefully takes them and ornaments Sri Radhika's hair with them. His hands start shivering when he experiences the blissful touch of his beloved. And this again causes Sri Radhika's heart to blossom. Alas, how many more days will pass before my eyes? before I will be absorbed in ecstasy by seeing Swamini's hair being braided in this astonishing way. Jai Jai Shita. Thank you very much, Rasamai. It was the choice of Rasamai, this verse, last Saturday, and also she was greedy to continue this words for this time. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you, Janandaji. Thank you very much. Unitiji, Gora, Sundar. Thank you all for, for sharing these beautiful feelings, and Gurdiv also sharing too much. We missed your sharing, Gurdiv. Why ask me to ask me? I want to say. <laughs> yes, I was very doubtful when I listened. Narayan Maharaj always telling this. Why he say this? I'm yours. He's a Chandra But he's actually Chandra Bhav when I'm in Sadak there. Mm. The sadhak they have how is Chandra Bali? Wow. Mm. we come to our Siddha Deha, then we say, You are mine, you are mine. <laughs> So you expand this, all meaning will come. It's so deep, so deep. You see. So we are crying when we are in Sadak Deha. Maya also influences us. And we cannot come out because we never surrender hundred percent. If I do 75, 25, I catch, keep for myself. So when this 100% happens, when I come to my Sarupavich, Radhe Radhe, meditate this, Radhe. Good.
By grace of Guru Krapa, he brings light away to us and then we can mercy, we can be in the mercy of Radha and Krishna. Raghunath Das Goswami, Tani Sloka, he only glorify Krishna. In the last of ten slokas, you will see. But very tasteful. <laughs> very nice. Rade, Rade. Uh, when Dasi becomes shadow of uh, Rani, then she also says, I'm yours, because shadow cannot exist without yeah. Rajana. That is the point. She says, I cannot do yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Also, you see, shadow cannot live without original. But to be in the hundred percent service, then it's only possible when you are mine. Yeah, that's the point. There is that. I cannot say I'm yours and do 100% service. Mm. How this oh. will be possible? Yeah. So he's a yeah. Chandravali. He's still Chandravali is catching us. How <laughs> of Chandravali is there? Not Radha Dasi 100%. There are they. <laughs> <laughs> Then oh, so if you are mine. Yeah. Then I am uh, okay. Take it. I am yours. Bring me to, to my <laughs> Yeah, I want to become your, your my I when I will come when I will say this. Oh. Wow. I have to start with I am yours to become you are fine. Mm. That's, That's one mind. thing is passive, no? Good. One thing is passive, one is active. Wow. I am yours is passive. Yes. But you are my is active. I have yes. to act. Yeah. That's the <laughs> yeah. 